Well, happy Tuesday. You know, Monday was a great day for me yesterday. Today is a great day also. Tomorrow is going to be a super great day because tomorrow is the uh, Drew Estates putting on their event over at the Grants Pass Country Club with Drew Estates is going to be there. Mm. You know, get your ticket. They're only five bucks, you know, and uh, they're going to have a cigar drop, brand new release. I'm super excited about that. Went in the cigar cave today and talked to the guys, and uh, they're, uh, they're they're excited. They're ready to rock and roll out there. Today, got my grandma glass. Decided to give up the other one. This is the Glen Moringi, Glen Moringi Scotch, the original. It's really great stuff. I love the bullet. I think the bullet's great. It's still one of my top favorite. But uh, we, I got to taste this one at the uh, cigar cave. Uh, uh, schoolhouse brew house thing that they had uh, last Friday. I'm really kind of digging it. So I'm going to pour a little bit of this. Always please drink responsibly. I'm looking forward to today's cigar. I smoked several of their cigars, in fact. The uh, Liga Privada Velvet Rat. I've had the L40. I've had the uh, the number nine. Oh man, these, the Drew Estates, <clears throat> two crooked thumbs up already for Drew Estates, man. They're putting out a fantastic cigar. This is the uh, the Unico Velvet Rat through Drew Estate. Uh, I really kind of dig it already because, hey, it's rustic, you know. Take a look at that. It's kind of rustic. It's uh, got a lot of veins. It's not quite straight. It's got a lot of character. I know, it's like I'm describing myself, right? <laughs> this is beat up at all, but it's like I'm describing myself all beat up and crooked. And kind of snap, crackle, and pop when I get out of bed. None of that's happening here. This is Top Shelf Seaguar. And uh, like I said, I've tried some of the other uh, blends. And oh my God, I'm loving it. So this is the first time I've had the Velvet Wrap. I guess they got a couple of different series of this, but I'm going to give this a go. This is uh, uh, the uh, it's an old Nicaraguan, and it's I'm kind of going to compare it to some of the other Liga Privadas, uh, only because uh, uh, you know it's made by the same company. But I just really, really kind of like their stuff. It's the uh, Connecticut Broadleaf Wrapper. And it's the Nicaraguan and Honduras fillers. This is the 6x46. So I'm going to give her the sniff test first. I'm going to try not to tickle myself this time. Let's see if I can do it. I'll sniff it from out here. It's got the twisted top on it. You know, I'm going to start really feeling cigars after the kind of cigar I did yesterday. They got really super soft. It felt firm to begin with. Remember like that? And then it just ended up like squishing to pieces. You know, kind of got the half crooked thumbs up. Uh, this is really firm. It's really firm. It's got a little bit of give, but it's a firm cigar. So, I'm, you know, I've the, uh, the Drew Estate and the Liga Gravata has never let me down. It's a great smoke all the time. They're, uh, you know, the price point on them is a little higher. But, you know, don't buy some of the other cigars you don't like and go in and buy a couple of these. You know, it's got that cool band on it. So let me give her the sniff test here. You know, it's uh, it's kind of like uh, you get coffee beans. You know, the before you grind them up, and you get the kind that's like the the mocha ish. There's that word again, the mocha ish kind of smell to it, and and then you grind it up, and it kind of has that. This is kind of what this has. You know, of course, it smells like tobacco. But it's just got that kind of a, 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 a smoky chocolate kind of a, a, a sniff to it. It's just kind of a, a rich smell. So I'm going to cut the end of this off and give her a cold draw. Cut this one a little off a little bit more to take that cap off because uh, I want to get the full flavor of this and not have it restricted. I've learned with the 
uh, Liga Pravada is that if you open it up just a little bit more, in my opinion again, mm -hmm. that you get more of the flavor. And you can see I, I, I opened this one up. Sometimes I just kind of take the little nub off the end, but I took this one all the way off, took the cap off. Don't cut it down to here. You'd be wasting a lot of good cigar because you could smoke it right to there. If you cut that much off, you're losing out. So let's do the cold draw. Again, I inhale it. I retro hill up my nose. Get the old fat breeze going and all that cool stuff. See how this tastes to begin with. Ooh, you know, just the taste on the end of that. And boy, it's got that chocolatey, woody taste. Oh, that's good. It's got just a touch of of, uh, of spice to it. I'm, you know, like I said, I've, I've smoked several of their other blends, and yeah, boy, go get them because you cannot go wrong. This one, uh, I was just talking to Matt over Scar Cave, and he said, you know, there's they've got several of, of the the Velvet type, and uh, he says you got to try them all. So you know, I was just on my way through, so I just picked up the one for tonight. So let's give her a toast. Hey, some of the dogs are out because it's like 90 degrees in the house. So, so they're saying hello to that, man. We're coming outside where it's only like 80. Well, it's got a lot of smoke to it already. Ooh, look at that. All right, I'm going to like this so much. I'm whispering. I'm the cigar whisperer. I'll think about that. I don't know if I want to be a cigar whisperer. It can be a cigar shouter. Here <laughs> the yeller. Cigar. No, I'll go with cigar shouter. Okay. Enough jocularity. Look it up. Let's fire this up. I love these cigars. You know the top five that I have to keep us expanding? There's like the top 15. These are in the top two or three. That, that's the bottom line off. Top two or three right here. It's, uh, it's you know, full-bodied. A little strong, not overbearing or overwhelming or overpowering any of the big over words at all. It's got uh, just a strong, rich, dark, chocolatey, like, not even like dark chocolate. It's just kind of got that, that richness. It's not a... Uh, an easy draw, even though I've cut that much off. It's still a tight draw, which means it's going to burn well, which is cool because cigar this good, uh, you don't want it to go, and you know, 15 minutes later, you're going, what the hell happened? I don't know where I need another one, which is great for business, but, you know, not for cigar smoking. So they really put everything into it. Uh, I, I can't thank Drew Estates enough. You know, I'm going to really get to meet them. I'm going to meet some of their people tomorrow. Get your tickets. To the Drew Estate event through the Cigar Cave. It's going to be over at the Grand Pass Golf Course tomorrow from 5.30 to 9. I'm going to be there. I thought my wife's going to be back, but uh, she won't be back until probably about the time that wraps up tomorrow evening. So I have a free ticket. Maybe, uh, you know, somebody wants to go with me. Mm -hmm. Free ticket. Get chauffeured from Medford to Grand Pass and back. Hmm. I might just take myself. You know, this is a, uh, a cigar that you could really enjoy. I'm going to grab my GG glass. This, you know, it's got so many notes. It's really kind of, it's already getting complex because it it's just is because it's like a really ex excellent cigar. So I'm going to try the uh, Glen Moringi. And the Liga Pravada. Oh, 
Wow. Wow. I might have to be alone for, for a second. This is really good. With the scotch, this top shelf scotch and a top shelf, top shelf cigar. Wow, wow, wow. I might have to like give this two crooked thumbs up in a toe. Nobody wants to see that. But it's definitely going to be two crooked thumbs up. I might just throw a toe in there. <laughs> oh, well, give me like a five second warning. So you avert your, your eyes and not be scarred for life. Wow. These two, I've done it from time to time. I did it with the, with the Pappy Van Winkle uh, that Drew Estates partnered up with. Some of the bullet before. I was going, man, that's a great, oh, it's a match made wherever you want it to be made. But, man, this, oh, my God, that's a good match. I'm going to get into the first third of this. I'm going to super, super enjoy it. I'm going to have some of the more of the uh, Glen Moringi uh, scotch. And I'll be back in a few minutes. Yeah, I got my shirt on that he could read, and I don't know anything about it. <laughs> I can't believe it. Yeah, he's going, oh, my God, he winked. I know, I know I did. I might just do some more funny stuff. Because, like I said yesterday, I'm a stuff kind of guy. And a lot of you are. I've noticed that. Maybe I'll tell a story. I'll see you in a few minutes. <clears throat> it's Boz with Boz Cigar Reviews. Got my GG glass. Missy Grandma. And the Glen Moringi Scotch. I'll tell you, I've, uh, during the break... Never thought I'd be saying that. During the break, I did this and this. I've got some uh, some doves that nest. <clears throat> I've got a gazebo above my hot tub over here. This dove, this male, he's been rooftop to rooftop just doing that that dove coo cooing thing. I'm not going to do it because I'll butcher it. And I do that enough. I'll just sound like a nut. I, I can name a nut. But anyway, back on to that guy. <laughs> He's been over on the two-story house across the way and then next door, and he's got this nest that he had, they had last year. I've been watching him every evening, and he just kind of goes around, and he's making that noise, and he's making that noise. And my wife and I talk, we go, wow, he's just, he's not going to be getting any. You know, he's going to be, this year's just going to be a bust, you know. And I just noticed that he's following, there's, there's a female now with him. Sorry, I'm kind of looking off because they're over here. And she's kind of going on top of the gazebo where I've got a bit, bunch of, uh, I think it's uh, wisteria. It grows all over the place, and it's kind of cool in the, in the summertime. It kind of shades hot tub. At night, it's pretty cool. And she's up there checking stuff out, and he keeps kind of hopping towards her. She's going, oh, no. No hopping here. <laughs> I'm being, I'm, never mind. So... She keeps kind of hopping away from him. And then she flies off and he chases her and they end up back on the roof over there. And then he's making the noise and he's getting all puffed up, you know. That's what I do when I'm with my wife. She's, she's like super beautiful and super hot. We go out and I get all puffed up like a peacock, you know. And like, oh, yeah. yeah. She's with me. Believe it or not. She's with me. <laughs> back to the cigar. I wanted to tell you a little story about, uh, I was at the cigar cave the other day. Look at that sucker. Sorry, I'm interrupting. This, okay, yeah, I'm going to do it. The hair check. And I, I'm not going to get real close because if it goes poof and I run around like, I don't know, some comedian back in the 70s with the hair thing, I don't want to do that. So, but, you know, it's a great ash just hanging on there. I've been purging even. Sometimes when you when I purge a cigar, the ash falls off. But uh, I, I reviewed check my reviews, the uh, the uh, Liga Pravada uh, L40, the Lancero, uh, not very long ago. And every time we're in Cigar Cave, because I pick some cigars, everybody go to kind of pick their brain a little bit and, and see what's going on. Uh, <clears throat> and there was a, an L40 there. It was the last one in the box. And the time before that, I was looking at that sucker. I was going, you know, somebody's going to grab that. I got busy, I got the yak in and all of that other stuff. And I left. And then uh, a couple of days ago I went back 
and it was still there. I was talking to uh, to Ben. Ben's a cool guy. My hat's off to you. I do this correct for this man. I salute you. Go and talk to Ben. He's a, an amazing, amazing individual. And uh, I grabbed that sucker. I said, man, I got to, I got to hesitate. That thing. He says, you know, I've been watching you for two days coming in and talking about it. And, you know, I said, man, I'm going to take it. And it was the last one. They're getting in, I think, Thursday? Tomorrow or Thursday, getting in a bunch of Drew Estate cigars. Go down there and get them before they're gone. Because I, I kind of walk in and grab a handful. It's a damn good thing you don't have shopping carts in there. There was a guy in there the other day. He had a whole handful of sticks, you know. And and he walked down. I said, man, you kind of shop like I do. And he says, man, it's a good thing I don't... You don't have shopping carts. My wife would divorce me. And this is how good I got it. I said, you know, my wife would just say, way to go, baby. You got some good cigars. I have got it made. If I need chrome on my bike, got a lot of chrome. Just, you should go get some chrome. I'm going, you're right. I should. <laughs> she buys me some chrome. How good is that? All this yakking, this sucker's still going. Anyway, the L40, I don't review every cigar I smoke. Sometimes I smoke cigars, uh, actually a lot, <laughs> just because I like them. Bless you, my German Shepherd sneezed. And uh, she's my sidekick, and i got to be nice to her. It, you know, I just, I just like them. You know, try different things. I try a whole lot of different cigars. Yes, Drew Estate is one of my favorites. They have an amazing selection. They got amazing blends. They partner up with different people. Different cigar manufacturers kind of make something that's uh, just superior, in my opinion. This is my opinion. Make up your own mind. And uh, so I, I, I snagged it. And then I just smoked it the other night, sitting out here in the evening, and just enjoyed the hell out of it. Enjoyed it. So I'm into this. And the, uh, sorry, I got I to gotta take another draw. Building suspense. The chocolate. The chocolate, and this has chocolateness. That's a word in my head. It's kind of gone down. The coffee's kind of come up a little bit. Kind of like a, before you grind the coffee, you smell it, and it smells good and stuff, but it has a little bit of a kick to it, and then you grind it, and it's kind of like, ooh, that's kind of mellow. My bulldog is tearing something up in the house. <laughs> she chews stuff. And uh, so it, it's it's uh, it's really complex. It, it's changing. You know, I I just really like the Liga Pravada, Pravadas. And the Velvet Rat... Velvet Rat, check it out. It's the uh, it's the Unico. There's the great label. Check it out. Pick one up. And so I smoked the L40. It's the Lancero. It's kind of a, a thinner cigar. And some people don't like the thinner cigars. It's not like pencil thin, but it's thinner. And man, but it lasts a long time. It like lasted forever. Like this, this is going to be at least an hour smoke, which I'm going to enjoy the hell out of. So anyway, you know, all due respect to the cigar maker, uh, it's the the coffee notes have kind of picked up. It's kind of getting a little bit of the uh, the woody taste. I kind of you know where the, the the ridges are on the roof of your mouth, right right behind your teeth. That's kind of where I pick up the woody tastes, kind of go like that, except not in front of people because then they think you're weird. I'm weird. So I, I kind of taste that. It's, uh, I wouldn't say it's an oaky taste, but uh, it's uh, it's there. So I'm really enjoying it. And there she goes. Rub <laughs> I was going to say rub it in, but it fell too low. I'll rub it in later. I want to give a shout out to somebody that I first contacted with Drew Estates. Here's, oh, sorry. I get distracted super easy. 
people that know me know that. There's that coning. See that? See that? That's where the fillers are, are, you know, they're burning like it's supposed to. You know, the fillers burn a little bit slower. They got more flavor. But the, the wrapper and the binder burn a little quicker because there's more usually more uh, of a flavor or notes in there. So that, that's a sign of a really well-packed cigar. Like the cigar I had the other day, I couldn't give it the two crooked thumbs up. This is not getting soft at all. It's staying a cold draw. It's very cool, which I like. It's not soft at all. It's, I mean, right here, it's a little soft, but right to right to there, it's super firm again. That's only because it's heating up. That's normal. So it's really firm, and it's cool, which I, I like. So, you know, it tells me something in my head. I want to give a shout out, shout out to Joe Gro. Yeah, hopefully I'm not mispronouncing this. G-R-O. Joe, G-R-O, Joe Gro. He's a Drew Estates, kind of the, the media guy. I emailed him a while back and I said, hey, you know, I, I really love Drew Estates. I'm kind of doing this little review thing. And he kind of, you know, he, he, I said, please check it out. If I'm doing you a disservice or I'm disrespecting it in some way because I kind of yammer on and I talk about oddball crap. Uh, you know, I, I drink responsibly during it. And and they liked it. And I'll tell you, he has opened up a lot of stuff for you. He's a, he's a super cool guy. He's very nice. In fact, all the people at Drew Estates are super cool people. Because they got such a, a cool backstory, you know. Check out my other reviews, how they began, how they just kept going and going and going. And now they're just this, this amazing company that treats people great. And they put out a fantastic, fantastic, love it cigar. So I'm going to get into the second third here. This is one of those smokes that uh, I could roll around in that smell. I really could. And uh, I've only done it one other time, but I'm probably going to dip this into this, the uh, Glen Morangi uh, uh, Scotch, because it's such a perfect pair that I'm going to dip it because uh, they're, they're such a great match. And this is something, something I do, you know, try it out. You know, I wouldn't, you know, dip it into a lot of things, but dip it into great scotch or great whiskey, like I have. So I'll be back after the two thirds and into the last bit. I, I have no doubt I'm going to smoke the sucker. Wait for it. Probably right there within an inch. Like I, I did that, that one the other day that I showed you, there's a little nub left because this is so damn good. <sighs> stuff. I've got a lot of stuff. I was going through my stuff the other day in the garage. My garage is full of stuff. I know there's a lot of people out there that know they're going, oh my God, the garage is full of stuff. I know it is. It's full of stuff. I've got <laughs> I found two cases of Coors and Coors Light bat bottles in my garage. Unopened, still in the boxes back in the 90s. The Coors, Coors Light came out with bat bottles. They looked like a baseball bat. So, said, ooh, this is going to be collectible. So I started with my collectibles. It's not hoarding. It's collecting. Along with my my collection of records that are made out of rocks. They're so old. You know, the, the guy with the, making a rock a rock record. And they rolled it. Figured it out. Oh, look. Hera. Little teacup poodle. There's a story here. I'm sorry, I'm getting away from it. This is going to run a little longer than I wanted, but she got my lap. When I first met Tasha, I don't know, it was shortly after I met her, this dog was pregnant and it was going to have pups. And I, I, I fell asleep and I woke up and there was puppies on my head. There were puppies on my head, right here. It was kind of green, you know, and and I... I, I felt this stuff and, and, and hair is on my head and she still sleeps right next to our heads. I don't know why. But there was there was puppies up there on a pillow right next to my head. Well, there was a, a pillow, you know, I was sleeping on the couch and there was a pillow there. 
so we bonded. I oh, she's so cute. They just got groomed. Sorry, I'm I'm wandering off. She's a cool dog. My bulldog and her get along. My German Shepherd and her get along. She's just a, a real cuddler. But she had puppies on my head. Who could say out there, hey, the woman that I fell in love with, their dog had puppies on my head. And didn't freak out. I didn't freak out. I thought it was cool. I said, like, wow, I'm good enough to have puppies on my head. Uh, I would have never thought that. So I'm going to get into this more. I'm going to have some more of the Flynn Morandi scotch. And uh, boy, go get some of these. The Velvet Rat. Look at that. It's burning great. I haven't had to touch a sucker up at all, and I've been just yakking on and on and on. Uh, a lot of respect to Drew Estate, the Cigar Cave. Go check them out. Please, go check them. I don't, I, I got, I get nothing, okay? I just know what I like. It's like art. You just know what you like. And these guys are always treating me right. You know, always treating All the, the owners there are super, super nice people. Go there, talk to them. Uh, uh, you know, Matt, he, he manages it. He takes care of all the, all the stuff. Man, the guy's got about a million hats on his head. In fact, he was in there doing a radio spot when I went in there and got this. So, uh, you know, check them out, please, because they're great people. I'll be back, and we'll finish this up because I'm going to play with Hera a little bit. Hera, like the goddess. Let's <laughs> see you in a minute. Oh, I missed This is Boz, back with Boz Cigar Reviews. You may notice something different. Jesse, one of the owners of Cigar Cave. The challenge is on, brother. Jesse has fedoras. He looks super cool in them. We're going to have a... Have a uh, he doesn't know it yet. But I'm going to wear this tomorrow. We're going to have a fedora challenge. Who looks better in a fedora? We'll let you decide. The thing is, my review site, vote for me. It's, you know, the people over there at Cigar Cave are so cool. Uh, I want to thank Roy for, uh, he, he kind of taught me something at uh, the schoolhouse, uh, the cigar and scotch pairing. He said, you know, take this really good scotch, kind of aerate it in your mouth. It brings out a whole bunch of different flavors. And he's right. In fact, I think I'll do it. Mm. he's right it brings out so many different notes and so many different flavors so thanks for that i appreciate it and uh he's a super cool guy so he's usually at the grants pastor so go out there ask for him and uh he'll teach you some stuff he taught me some stuff just like uh, Jesse taught me about the cool hats. In fact, they had a hat at Cigar Cave today. Because they had a, uh, a kind of a, a pre-cigar release deal over there. As soon as I knew about it, in fact, I was going to order a pizza. I was getting ready to, to have a pizza at one of the local places. And I read that, hey, you know, come on down for the next umpteen minutes. And man, I, I drank my beer and shot down. I was drinking responsibly. I only had a half a beer. Down that half a beer. Went down there and uh, and got a cool hat. Not this one. My wife got me this one. So thanks, Tasha. So, Jesse, it's on, brother. Who looks better in the cool hat? It's going to be a toss-up. So, as you can see, down past the second, third. This is as even-keeled cigar as I have smoked. Bottom line and honest. It's really nice. It's floating super cool, sailing along. The notes are changing. The uh, the chocolate taste is gone. The retro hell. Let me do it again. A little spicy, not peppery. No pepper in the throat. This is in my top two or three cigars. No bull. Bottom line and honest. The Velvet Rat. 
I'm going to smoke this sucker all the way down. I'm going to take the label off, go down to an inch and a half. I don't do that to all the cigars. I do it the most. This one, I will do it. Thank you, Drew Estates. And the, uh, the, the Unico Velvet Rat from Drew Estates. Thank you, Cigar Cave. I've got room. If there's one person that needs a ride over to the uh, the event tomorrow at the Grants Pass uh, Golf Club with the Drew Estate people showing up, let me know. I'll give you a ride there and a ride back. Uh, if there's only one person, we'll take the convertible. How cool is that going to be? If there's more of you, I can take three people. Yeah, three people. Let me know. We'll go. We'll take the other car. We'll go over there, have a great time, we'll come back. I'll be nice and responsible and all that cool stuff, as always. Always, please, drink responsibly, smoke responsibly. It's a cool thing. Uh, this is finishing up extremely well. It's super even keeled. Look it up. Look up even keeled and you'll know what I'm talking about. And that's for all of the, uh, uh, the maritime services, you know, the Navy, the Coast Guard, uh, the uh, anybody that sails on a boat or on a ship that does that for a living, I got a lot of respect for you. You're away from your family a lot. Uh, the uh, merchant marines, stuff like that, guys on ships, they're bringing the stuff that you buy. Okay, they're bringing the stuff that you buy, just like truckers. If you bought it, a truck brought. Uh, if you bought it, a truck brought it. Hats off to uh, the truckers. Hats off to anybody that has to go in the big pond to bring you stuff. Stuff. Appreciate them. I can't say it enough. I'm going to finish this off. Glenn Morangi, uh Scotch. Fantastic pairing. Okay. I'm going to do it. Just for a few seconds. Let's give her a whirl. Oh, this is incredible. This is incredible. You know, I always mention Gigi, my grandma, with, that had the glass before me, and then it was my glass as a kid and growing up, and they got it when she passed. My granddad, her husband, old Charles Ward, he was uh, in the Navy, World War II, a lot of stories there. He was 6'4". Great big guy. He played bad guys in some movies before they did a recording way back in the day. I always played the bad guy because he was, had this booming voice. He was a great big guy, six foot four. And uh, I miss him. He was so funny. <clears throat> We'd go to uh, the local coffee shop. This is a long thing, so I'm sorry. <clears throat> it's going longer than any of my reviews. But he would. He was a prankster. You know, he would, uh, he was stir his coffee. I'd, I'd, as a kid, <clears throat> I'd spend some time there during the summertime. And he'd stir his coffee with a spoon. And he'd get that spoon hot. And he'd lay it on the hand of the per person next to him. And then the person next to him would go, oh, my God, that's hot. And he'd go, oh, geez, I'm sorry, young man. And my grandma always used to say, you're a DGOC. Charles, somebody's going to punch you in the eye. You're going to have a black eye. And he'd go, oh, ho, 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 no, they're fine. He did a lot of crap. He always got away with it. You know, he's one of those guys that he, he would wear his boxer shorts and his slippers to the bakery in North Hollywood uh, near their house. And he would stand outside and I'm going, I'm just watching him. You know, I'm a little, just a little guy. <clears throat> he'd look up. You just stand outside and look up. Pretty soon people are looking up and he'd be pointing at nothing. And then he'd slowly back away and he'd watch. And he'd laugh like crazy. He had this booming laugh. I miss him. I miss him a lot. And uh, so this is for you, Grandpa Charles Ward. Super cool guy. Enjoy your family while you can. We all, like I said yesterday, we all pass. You know, we all got to die sometime. The guy died laughing. True story. You know. And, uh. I missed my time with him. 
Next time I'm going to tell you about the electric hammer that he hooked me up with as a kid. An electric hammer didn't exist. I thought it did. But it didn't exist. It worked for him great, but it didn't work for me very well. That's a different story for a different time. I want to thank everybody for all of your great comments. If you need a ride to uh, the event tomorrow, please let me know. We'll go over there. We'll have a great time. We'll come back. We'll talk cigars. We'll talk anything. Jesse, the challenge is on, brother. Yeah. We'll see who looks better. I think it's going to be him, but I'm not sure. The public will choose. In fact, the winner has to buy the other one whatever cigar he wants. Because when you win smoking a great cigar like the Velvet Rat, it's worth it, even at the price point. Don't be, don't be scared of it. Save up. Don't have that extra cup of coffee a couple of days a week. Get the cigar. Really, the Velvet Rat. Sorry, I'm smoking it all the way down. Until next time, with another great cigar, uh, we're going to have fun. I might take the uh, Peppy Van Winkle with me tomorrow. I've been saving that sucker because it's a good cigar. I might take it with me tomorrow, even though they got a cigar drop. I might smoke that there. So, thank you to Glenn Morangi, Scotch. Thank you to Drew Estates. Thank you to the Cigar Cave and all the guys over there. They're the best. And I don't say that easily. I don't say that easily. Thank you so much for everything that you do. If you have questions, ask. Until next time, sorry this ran long. Hopefully you stuck with me. But uh, I enjoyed it. And hopefully you did too. I'll see you next time. Thank you. Because you earned it.